it for some reason we didn't expect it but i will say that reveal is a little cliched if you guys have seen spider-man homecoming i hope you have but um i also really had a great time with that movie i already yeah. s spoke and, about it but, uh, so yeah. i kind of expected that from you to be right. on a higher on your list and uh, the uh oh, wait, wait, what was that Cause uh, you were like so excited about it oh, after yeah, you watched right. it, and so of course the action is great. But what I loved, what I loved, is Tony Stark and Peter Parker, and how and how they're not always seeing eye to eye, and Peter just wants to be more, but he's not letting him be more. And when he finally confronts Peter, and talks to him about uh, you know how things are gonna be, and like what do you want to do, and uh, you have to just you you have to know your limits. I was already, I was so into it, and, um, and I, as I said, like, I love the, the, with the sporting character, I can't believe I forgot his name. What, what was Peter Parker's best friend's name? I forgot, too. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, there, uh, the, uh, high school dynamic was pretty relatable. Uh, Peter Parker and Liz, yeah. like, uh, I was like, this is... It's not cliche. It's actually not. I've I've watched the movie three times, and I was like, no, this could actually happen. Like, it's act. It doesn't seem like that's not a roll your eyes kind of on screen on screen like romance kind of thing. I'm just uh, okay. I will. I'll just say like, it's a spoiler for Spider Man Homecoming if you haven't seen it. But spoiler. <laughs> yeah, but um, I I just really think that I've seen it before quite quite a few times where the villain. Or, like, someone the main character knows really well ends up being their girlfriend's dad. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, where, where did you, where else did you I think that? that was, okay, well, I seen one thing was, like, 22 Jump Street, <laughs> and he's like, dun, dun, dun. but, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, um, but I just, I feel like, um, but I still really liked it. Although it was cliched, I think they did it very well. So I will say that it's not bad. I just, I, I just think, you know, I have seen it before, but it's still really well done. Besides that, I don't think I've seen that before. And not to keep con contradicting you, but uh, contradicting you, contradicting, uh, contradicting you. I was like, oh my <laughs> god, no, whoa! And also the person, the the guy in the chair joke. I was like, they keep mentioning this, and it's gonna, it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> and then it happened. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. And I was like, you. And the librarian came and he's like, oh, I'm watching porn. No, he's like, I was uh, looking at porn. Yeah, <laughs> so good. That was the mm. one that the theater mm. would not stop laughing about. Also, my dad was, when that happened, my dad was like, ha, 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 I was like, it's funny, but it's not that funny. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe he was saying like, ha, ha, I don't look at porn. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he was like, yeah, anyway. And uh, like, uh, Flash, he was taken in a different kind of angle, and it's different from Spider-Man One when he was just like this big, huge bully that uh, you know sort of created everybody around. I like how Flash was kind of just like this this jerk. <laughs> and he had don't drive my no my dad's car he would kill me. <laughs> the car like, anyway, let's move on. Yeah. My number two is Star Wars The Last Jedi. I absolutely love this movie, but it was so different, and I pretty much didn't expect, like, everything that was going to happen in this movie. And I really loved that. And it wasn't just, you know, it was unexpected, but it wasn't good. I really loved the direction Ryan Johnson, like, went with this movie. I know the Star Wars The Last Jedi was very polarizing, and... You know, I don't understand the backlash towards Ryan Johnson, honestly. I just, I really had a great time with this movie. And I feel like some of the complaints that um, people had with The Last Jedi, I had, I, I kind of was like, yeah, I see where you're coming from. But then again, um, I didn't, they, they didn't bother me as much because the positives in this movie were so positive and I really loved pretty much everything that Ryan Johnson went for in this movie. And I, oh, yeah. I'm a true Star Wars fan. So yeah. And you know that action sequence with uh, Ray and Red, right? Mm -hmm. All right, my number two. Can I guess it? You got, you got it. More for the Planet of the More Apes. More for the Planet of the Apes, man. Okay, this is the movie this year that uh, made that pissed me off the most, but also 
made me the most happy. And the reason it pissed me off is uh, it's not like a flaw to the movie because I didn't have any flaws with this movie. I watched it again and I watched it again with my family. My mom cried. My dad, I think, was going to cry. Uh, my brother, he was like, oh, bro, this is great. And um, so the story is, is um, I thought, again, yeah, war is a misleading title. That's kind of, I don't think that's, I think it's more maybe survival of the Planet of the Apes is a better title. Oh, uh, Woody Harrelson. Be, yeah, I know Kylo Ren and um and uh, the vulture what? were in this it were this year as my oh. favorite like, the best villains I, yeah sorry. dude that kylo yeah, ren yeah. cameo you in know Orphan what? planet yeah, of the apes you know it's usually plays <laughs> kylo ren it's also um and uh the, and then so woody harrelson i think was my favorite villain besides kylo ren that yeah i think he's he was i think he was a bit more compelling than than the vulture because once you see, what you like you see him and you're just like oh it guy's a monster and I love the moments when you you find out like maybe their backstory and you're just like oh yeah yeah it's kind of it's kind of relating but I don't want to but you know and then he and then he continues being an a hole like that's I love villain arcs like that this is my favorite performance from Andy Serkis like of the entire year this it's so good and uh, yeah no like the Academy Awards aren't gonna aren't gonna notice that really uh um, only pick artsy stuff but yeah and it's an ape and i cared more about an ape than most mostly any human this year in any movie and uh and it was so fulfilling because i watched uh, i think yeah i watched rise and i thought it was okay then i watched it and then again i loved it and then dawn and i loved that one and then and it seemed like quite a long way just like ragnarok but it was, uh, it was just one year less. And plus, you know, the motion capture, that was pretty, uh, pretty okay. Or, uh, you know, pretty freaking real. Because you know what? Every frame, even the frames that no one remembers. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know why I keep remembering this one. It's when Caesar and a couple of apes are running through, they're running beside a fence and going into this building. That is such a forgettable like little thing in a movie but i was just like that would have taken like 12 hours with three supercomputers to render that's insane all the motion capture all the all like the performances like as apes everybody phenomenal just phenomenal yeah um let's do what the schmoes did and say our number ones at the same time no, 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 yeah, no, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna guess yours. No, you already know mine. No, I, I'm actually yours. forgetting it right now, so just Are wait. you I'm kidding not, me? I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm, oh I'm forgetting it right now. Just, okay, just, just go. Three, two, one. Your Patriot's it! It's, it's it! Patriot. I saw the book and I was like, it's it! <laughs> it's it, right? can't believe you forgot about this movie like i would have i would always i was scared like i thought it wouldn't have i thought he, he said it wasn't in his honorable mentions i was like it not is, even not even is, in your honorable is. mentions all right but i read the book before i watched the movie well most of it at least like all of the kids part and then i finished you know the book after the movie but it was very fulfilling um Initially, after I finished it, uh, even though I was like, wow, that was awesome, um, like, I, w I was like, maybe there were some parts in the book that I wish were in the movie, but then I thought about it, and I was like, those parts of, what? I was thinking of some pretty weird scenes that... <laughs> no, it's not those scenes. I know. Um, but I think there was the parts in the book that weren't in the movie that I thought that they should have added. I When I really thought about it, I realized that translated to a movie they wouldn't really work out that well or they would have been like some like really really slow scenes that you know some people would have think some people would think would not really work in the movie but it was just a great time it's probably the best horror movie i've ever seen it wasn't the scariest like although people had Freaking scary though man it was scary Ooh. it was really scary but um, you know, a lot of people had said, you know, it wasn't scary, so it wasn't good. But that really, in my opinion, wasn't the point. There was, like, comedy in this movie, and there were so many elements in this movie that I just really, really loved. The kids in this movie kids awesome. were yeah. awesome. Of course, you know, we know Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, and, you know, like, he's obviously the popular one in there. But all the kids, I don't know where they get these kids, man, <laughs> to yeah. do this movie. But they were all phenomenal, and... 
I really think that Bill Skarsgård should be nominated, but he's not going to as a, as a clown. No, I don't think he's going to be nominated for an Oscar, but I really think he should be. But I just yeah, love yeah, this movie. Yeah, at, at the Shorty Awards. Yeah, at the Shorty Awards. I really, really loved it. Bottom line. One of the, you know, really awesome. But, um, you know, no, actually, hold on. One more thing. Um, you know, like... The miniseries, you know, it wasn't scary or whatever. I really think that Tim Curry, while, you know, a lot of people were terrified of him back when the miniseries had come out, I feel like he's more funny. <laughs> Whereas... No, no yeah, Bill... <laughs> no, no, you, you don't say no. Everyone knows yeah. he was pretty much hilarious. But Bill Skarsgård really feels like he is someone who tried to be a clown, but he completely failed because he was just scary and he mm. didn't he didn't entertain any kids he just really scared well, I thought them. you were going into and the back story of Pennywise I'm like wait I could saying? but um he's you know just a demonic entity that feeds off of kids fear and he's comes from um you yeah. know, comes from the, the comes from hell. The the turtle, whatever the thing. I I forgot his name, but you know, I read the book uh, some time ago. I forgot the name of the turtle, but you know, there's that story. And, um, you don't. It it's not showed in the movie. There's Easter eggs that go to that from the book, but like when um, Bill picked up the Lego turtle in the movie, or stuff or stuff like that. But I'll explain it to you another time. Anyway, right. um. All right, so my number one, yeah, I've already go see it if you haven't seen. It. I mean, it's made so much money. Yeah, like, it's made like way too much money. Amount of money. But you know, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're doing with your life anyway. Well, unless you're scared. Okay, th uh, this movie it came out in December of last year. Everybody had a lot of people had it on their lists, lists because it was great. And so when I I'm so stupid, I went, I, I I said, okay, we should watch this movie. I was going to a movie with my grandpa. He said. I want I want to watch like kind of a real movie like re realistic. I don't want not, no action. I was like, really? Can we? I was in the mood for action, and he's like, let's let's try Patriots Day. I'm like, that's supposed to be pretty good. Probably gonna be a bit of a boring documentary kind. No, bro, no, no. I want to go back to my past self and kill him, <laughs> dude. Okay, so this movie made me forget I was watching a movie. Because it was just like somebody picked up a cam and it was like a found really shot. Really hold well, on, hold on. It was on. like a really well shot found. I'm going way movie. too into this. I'm thinking if you killed yourself in the past, you wouldn't have seen this movie. Well, my future self would still be here. Yeah, but you wouldn't have seen Patriot's Day. Alright. <laughs> I, I just beat him up. Uh, and so, uh, I think... Uh, yeah, the, these were just people, man. I never saw them as characters. And even lines, just by, like, especially, I think, Kevin Bacon, just lines that don't are not, like, big, huge movie quote lines. Every line, I was like, oh, man, this is awesome. Every word, I was like, yeah, okay, I get this. This is, like, real stuff, man. Um, the, the two people that play the terrorists... The terrorists in the movie, I think, are so humanized. I don't relate with them, but I, but they're they're so human, and I guess I get okay, fine, fine. You know what? I know I said, I know I said Mr. Wren was my favorite villain of the year, but those two guys, I hated them. I hated them, but at the same time, it was really, really. Amazing and interesting to see where they would go and how they'd be caught. Mark, Marky Mark, as a Boston police uh, officer in the department, was awesome, man. He, I, I, I don't know if he was in the Academy Awards because, man, that was a good performance and it was really inspiring at the end, especially when he tells when he when he gives his philosophy, and that's right before. All the crap starts happening again. I was like, this is so well structured. I was not bored once. I thought I was going to be bored. Dude, this was the opposite of bored. This was, I forgot I was watching a movie. The Watertown Shootout. Oh my god, gunplay. We watched John Wick 2 this year. We watched a lot of great action movies. And out of everything this year, 
That is my favorite action sequence of this year, and possibly in my top 10 of all time. It's so good. It's so good. Every gunshot is like Dunkirk. It hits you, man. It's amazing. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, my number one is in this his honorable mentions. His number one is yeah. in my honorable mentions. <laughs> but I will say about Patriots Day, I, what I also loved about it, how it was kind of like, it was very realistic in the way that, like in the beginning of the movie, what was his name? Tommy. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, Tommy. Tommy, he kicks okay, so, the door. Yeah, he kicks the door open, and <laughs> for the rest of the movie, his leg is like hurting and he's well, like limping on it. I thought you were gonna say something <laughs> smart. No, 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 no. I loved a lot about Patriots Day. I really loved the movie. I'm saying like one of the things I really loved was uh, like as like a funny like part of it was <laughs> how he kicks the door down and he's like ah, and then for oh, the rest, that freaking door, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the movie. He's he's just like limping on it, but yeah, that yeah. was funny. But um, J.K. Simmons was pretty awesome. He was he was funny. Uh, what else? Uh, there was a lot of characters like uh, survivors of the of the terrorist attack, and they had some really unfortunate things done to them. But they they carried on, and they they you know what starts with a P persevered through everything. And uh, you know, the, there's a bunch of subplots about them. Like, there's um, that Asian guy. Yeah. There's the Asian girl. <laughs> I don't remember their names. There's that young couple. And I, usually I'd be like, why is the subplots in here? They slowing down the movie. It didn't slow it down. It actually made it, it added more weight. Because when things happen to these people, you're just like, oh, man. These guys did some bad stuff. And... Yeah, I won't. I won't go into that. Yeah, anymore. but like the thing is, usually in disaster movies, they really try to keep the rating of the movie low, so there's not as much violence, or oh, they would. Oh, it's not a disaster. There were no, but in a way, it is because it's like a bombing, but um, and a lot many people died, um, but um, a lot of movies like this, they really like. They want more people to see it, so they do this thing where it's not as much. But when um. When the bombing happened, it really felt so real. And at times, like, when it really showed what had happened to a lot of people, it was very... It was sometimes hard like, to watch. Oh, it was, yeah. like... It was pretty violent. And there's... Yeah. But I really love that about this movie. They didn't hold back with that stuff. And so. all the investigation, like, finding out... Like, who these people are. When they're looking at, like, security footage and they're like, that guy's wearing a white cap and he's sort of just standing there like nothing happened. That stuff, I was like, people. I like, I like people. I like people who are not, who are, who are fighting for us and not these dumb terrorists, you know. And, <laughs> and, uh, and what was I going to say? Um, that was the only thing. Favorite movie of the year. Yeah. So that's our list, guys, our top 10 of 2017. It has been a really, really good year, and it's been pretty fun to review all these movies this year, although I had, you know, stopped you know, until the Baby Driver review came out, and then I started doing it more. But I really have loved 2017. Happy New Year, guys, and thank you so much for watching, whoever does. And I almost forgot, like, I never do this in my reviews with him. He deserves it. Go subscribe to this guy. His, his name is The Graphic Loop. And, yeah, you um, know, I'm, I'm trying to upload, but I'm having major technical difficulties. Yeah, so. with his computer, but he'll get back oh, into it soon enough. He yes. reviews uh, comics and... Um, Nerdy you, stuff, will, man. Will, love yeah, will you ever be um, trying to uh, talk about any movies or anything? Yeah, yeah well, maybe a bit. Like, yeah. like, I might, like, compare stuff, but... Yeah, but mostly sort of book reviews and everything. He's a pretty good reviewer. He's a good at talking about stuff. But, um, you know, that's that. But, um, yeah, I'll be making more vids in the future for 2018 movies. And so, yeah, stay tuned for those reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And as always, have a great day. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, that's the wrong thing.